Hey everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions with another video. Today I'm looking at the Windows 10 technical preview. Before this video begins, I just want to let you know that everything in this video is subject to change, all the menus, blah blah blah, because it's the technical preview, so it's basically a demo. So here we go. So obviously we've got the start menu coming back. As you can see, I clicked on the start menu, and now we have a start menu. Thank God for that. Gone are the days in Windows 8 where you click it and it brings up a full touchscreen based UI that looked in my opinion pretty terrible. I'm so glad that's gone. Up next is a quite interesting feature that I'm sure many of you are going to take advantage of when you get your hands on Windows 10. Basically it's known as a virtual desktop or as many as you want. So at the moment I'm just going to open up you know the generic file explorer, paint, internet explorer, whatever. Just what you'd have on your normal workstation. But the difference is you can actually click an icon that's just to the left there next to internet explorer and you can see it says add a desktop. This basically allows you to run multiple desktop environments on the same PC. You don't need two screens, you don't need anything like that, it's just so you could be working on a video editing program or whatever and you want, you know, you want to take a break so you click on add a desktop, you put miniclip.com, you know, just anything to like a game or YouTube or whatever. It's just, I think it's quite a neat feature that has been missing from Microsoft products. So yeah, as it's catching up the video, because obviously this is a voiceover, so I click the button again, and as you can see, my two active desktops appear when I click the window. So, okay, I want to change, click the button, there's the two active desktops, and I can change. When you click what's known as the Task View button, the one I mentioned previously next to Internet Explorer, you'll, this will appear. Basically, these are the active programs running, so that you can click the Task View button and terminate them as you wish. It's basically the alt tab of Windows 10, allowing you to just close programs that you don't want in a neat and organized view. So like so, click the X, and obviously I can't close Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer is fantastic as usual. And there we go, it's freezing and telling me to close all tabs. So yeah, that's the task view button. I'm sure many of you remember the snap feature in Windows 7, Windows 8, etc, etc allowing you to basically multitask so you could have paint open, you could have file explorer open and then you get a split screen effect. Well, Windows 10 brings this to a whole new level. What you do, so if I open up home, you can see that we've got frequent folders. This is the new default of home. It just shows you your most common used documents and files and folders. And then, you know, I'm going to bring up something like let's see what I decide to bring up because again, voiceovers, voiceovers, voiceovers. So I bring up Internet Explorer, snapping, snipping tool even, paint, and one more. Let's bring up pictures. So now with Windows 10, you can snap them to each corner like so. So you literally just do the same thing as you would do in Windows 8 and 7. You just drag it, but this time it will allow you to neatly organize it into cubes in the left, right, left, right positions. So now we have four windows open. Now, if this doesn't increase your productivity, I don't know what will. However, it probably could get a little bit annoying if you have a very small screen. But hey, that's just one of the uh, downfalls of it. But as far as I'm aware, it seems like a great addition, and I'm sure it's going to be tweaked and added to over time, because again, this is a technical preview. With Windows 10 snapping tool, you can actually use key commands. The key commands are very simple. All it is is the Windows key followed by a directional arrow and that will place the window like so in any position of the screen. It's also important to note that when the window is full screened like so, you can then press the Windows key down, and then down when you press it again, it will minimize like that, and then when you press up with the Windows key of course, it will bring it back up. So it's basically just making life a little bit easier instead of just having to scramble your mouse around the screen to get it in the position that you want, you can do it with key commands if you so choose. The start menu can actually be altered in size simply by dragging it at the top with the mouse up and down, like so. Okay, so up next is the search feature in the start menu. So if you click on the start menu, you'll notice at the bottom left is a search box. So for this example, I'm going to search for downloads. So what should appear, even though it will be a little bit slower because I'm using a virtual box, is my downloads folder. And there it is, you can just see it there. So you can access folders, files, and whatever you like from this. 
like that. There we go, the downloads folder easily searched for using the start menu. And then we're going to go ahead and use the search function again for a Google search or a Bing search in this case because you know the whole Microsoft thing. I just searched for how do I cook chicken. Simple search and yeah this might take a little while just because I'm on a virtual box because I didn't want to screw up my computer with a technical preview. So I'll probably edit this so it cuts to the next bit in 3, 2, 1 and we're back. So there we go it comes up with a search result in Bing. Obviously I wouldn't normally use Bing but you can't really complain. So yep. Yeah. You can search for anything you want, whether it be files, folders, internet searches, government secrets, Coca-Cola secret recipes, and pretty much anything else. Next I'd like to talk about the command prompt. This has changed in Windows 10 and it's become a lot more flexible and customizable. So if you right click at the top of the command prompt window and go to properties, you'll notice a new tab called experimental along with the obviously font, layout, colors, changing, you know, make it look all matrixy. You can now do stuff like enable line wrapping, filter clipboard contents, change the opacity of the window. So as you can see, it's, you know, gone a bit see-through. Not sure why you'd like to do this, but hey, each to their own. So there we go, it's pretty much see-through now. Seems a bit silly to me, but it's just a new feature in Windows 10 with command prompt. There's a lot more, but obviously you don't want to be watching a video about command prompt. You want to be learning more and more about what Windows 10 does. So let's move on. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to be in the finished product, but for now you have the Windows feedback button from the start menu. This will allow you to define problems very specifically to see if other users have submitted other problems similar to yours so that you can already view the feedback that they've given to troubleshoot your problem. And it also allows you to document your problems to Microsoft more specifically so that they know how to deal with it rather than just saying my PC's slow because it's not very helpful to them. So as you can see on the left we have all areas so you, if you had an Internet Explorer problem you'd go to there and you'd click on you know the detail. So you've got apps, it gives you the specific apps to report the issue on rather than just I'm having a problem with apps. So basically I think it's much better than you know send error report, it just makes sense to me. So as you can see, Internet Explorer has the most on there by far. It's like all other issues, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just obviously going to give a bit of feedback to Microsoft. Um, yeah, IE is just, just bad, just terrible. Don't use IE, people. What's also interesting about this Windows 10 preview is that it gives hints that Cortana will actually be available on the desktop version. Now, if you don't know what Cortana is, Neither do I, to be honest, I just had to quickly Google it. Basically, it's sort of like Siri. So you can say, Cortana, tell me the date that blah 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 did blah blah blah, or what were the football scores for this date? So as you can see, I searched in the local disk for Cortana, and there's already file references to it, so... A sign of things to come, I suppose. If you've used Windows applications in Windows before, such as games or whatever, you'll be happy to know that you can now use them in windowed mode which means you don't have to automatically view it in full screen and be distracted from whatever else you're working on. And last but not least for this video, we have the notifications icon. This allows you to view various notifications such as software updates. You can also mute these for a bit if you want to. That's all for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions regarding Windows 10, please leave it as a comment below and I will answer your questions as quick as I possibly can. I'll see you guys in the next video.